my story. So, um, everyone connects with people in their lives differently, which means basically I connect with someone different than anybody else. But that never means anything is more special than somebody else. This man, Matthew Lieberman, wrote a book named Social, Why Our Brains Are Wired to Connect. It cites more than thousands of sources, unpublished, and, or documented and undocumented sources, of why our brains are just wired to connect with the people around us. He says that our brain's lifelong passion is to be connected with others. TLC. TLC has just been the epitome of my lifetime. I've really, I've grown with everybody around me. I've seen people grow. It's been awesome. <laughs> Thomas, don't make that face. <laughs> I didn't have to make Oh, no. All right, basically, my aha moment. I've really been able to connect with people around me, and my aha moment is that I've really seen a difference in connection between my early years of TLC and my later years of TLC. Basically, for me, living in the valley, and just in case you didn't know, the valley is past White Hill, uh, in about that area. I never really got to be with friends outside of school. It was a long seven mile journey across the valley and over the hill, and I couldn't always beg my parents for a ride. And that's why I used technology and all that type of stuff to actually connect with my friends and connect with people around the world. And those people that I've been able to connect with really have furthered my experiences and made it such a better experience for me. All right, an enormous theme of my sophomore career was travel. Starting it off, I went to Washington with my wonderful sophomore class. I've known these people forever. I've been able to see each and every one of you guys grow, as well as you've been able to see me. And I've seen all of you change and mature over the years, and it's generally awesome to see how everyone turns out. We went to Washington. I wasn't put into a group with my best friends, I wasn't in a hiking group with my best friends, but I made do. All these people are really close to me now. Sam and Jonas, you guys were awesome in that cabin. <laughs> the second trip I went on was Boston. Thomas was there, Kai was there, Gina was there. This was a perfect trip. The whole band, we got on a plane and we flew across the country to, per to perform in a World Stride performance uh, against hundreds of other schools across the country. Uh, what happened is our school came out on top. Our jazz band won the first place award. We won a total of 11 awards. It was an amazing experience. All the people that were there with me, I've just grown so much closer to. And Boston was just a perfect place to be in. And there was a Dunkin' Donuts and every single street corner. <laughs> <laughs> An enormous part of my year, besides all these things, is band. And I know that no one else besides the people who are in it really care about band. And that's okay. I'm not judging. But <laughs> band has just been such an enormous like, experience for me. Along with the Boston trip, I learned so many new things. And from all the people, because we're mixed with all the grades, I know a lot of seniors who are leaving. And it's very sad to see them go. But it was awesome to get to know them. <coughs> And band has just been there, and that's the instrument I play. It's called the Barry Sax, and uh, a little self-promotion. On Sunday, the jazz band is going to be at the Fairfax Festival at noon, so be there. It'll be awesome. <laughs> and, but lastly, it's really, I've, it's been a wonderful experience in TLC to be able to grow with all of you guys. And you really helped me write my next page in my book, or my next chapter in my own book of life, but that's just simply my own story, and now it's your guys' turn to go make your own. Thank you. <laughs>